Since the Passover of the Jews was near, Jesus went up to Jerusalem. He found in the temple area those who sold oxen, sheep, and doves, as well as the money changers seated there. He made a whip out of cords and drove them out of the temple area, with the sheep and oxen, and spilled the coins of the money changers and overturned their tables. And to those who sold doves he said, Take these out of here and stop making my father's house a marketplace. At this the Jews answered and said to him, What sign can you show us for doing this? Jesus answered and said to them, Destroy this temple, and in three days I will raise it up. The Jews said, This temple has been under construction for forty-six years, and you will raise it up in three days? But he was speaking about the temple of his body. Therefore, when he was raised from the dead, his disciples remembered that he had said this, and they came to believe the scripture and the word Jesus had spoken. While he was in Jerusalem for the feast of the Passover, many began to believe in his name when they saw the signs he was doing. But Jesus would not trust himself to them, because he knew them all, and did not need anyone to testify about human nature. He himself understood it well. Good morning. Happy third Sunday of Lent. Today we have the reading where Jesus comes in with a whip and he uh, and he expels the vendors, the money changers, in the temple. In the temple. Well, the first thing I think that we need to remember in this reading is that Jesus is on our side. He's fighting for us. He's fighting for us. And are we willing to stand by his side and do the work that he's doing in this reading, in this meditation, in this mystery? Well, what is the work he's doing in this mystery? What's, what, what is happening exactly? We know that in the past few Sundays of Lent, um, all Jesus has been worrying about has been proclaiming the reign of God. Proclaiming the reign of God. Healing people, casting out demons, etc. And this is exactly what's happening in this reading. The Bible tells us that our bodies are the temple of the Holy Spirit. In this way, we can think Jesus is coming into our, our soul, into our spiritual life, and driving out all of the things that are getting in the way, driving out all of the things that are keeping us from love, that are keeping us from God, that are keeping us from living out the vocation that we have in the church and in Christ. Remember in the Gospel of Luke, it's also the fifth joyful mystery of the rosary, where Jesus is lost and his parents are looking for him everywhere and they can't find him. And where do they finally find him? In the temple. And what does he say? Don't you know I would be in my father's house? Don't you know that I would be doing my father's business? That's how much Jesus loves the temple. And this is what it's all about. This is what it's all about. So what's happening when Jesus goes into this temple? What bothers him so much? Why is he so upset? If you notice, all they're doing is they're selling stuff. They're selling things in the temple. And we know uh, from history that they're selling things that might be used in the temple. Things for sacrifices, things for rituals, but they shouldn't really be in there. Now, this doesn't mean that we can't sell stuff at church. This doesn't mean that the altar society can't sell cakes after mass or something like that. That's not what it means. What's happening is that there's a lot of commerce going on. And this is a symbol. This is a symbol of the world we live in. We live in a world of commerce. We live in a world of exchange. We're always selling something. We're always buying something. We're running up a tab. We, we think something's coming to us in our entitlement. We're expecting to exact a price. We exact a price on our neighbors. Everything's for sale. Everything's being exchanged. Everything is a haggle. That's not the world Jesus wants us to live in. That's not the world we live in as Christians. The one you haggle with is the devil. Jesus paid it all. He paid it all. And that's what he's upset about in this temple. So it leads us to examine what's going on in my life. What do I think is coming to me? What is my price? What am I willing to sacrifice for these things? And all these people running around selling, 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 who's ever satisfied? The only one walking into that temple offering satisfaction is Jesus. So, my dear brothers and sisters, on this third week of Lent, we ask ourselves, when Jesus shows up in my temple, 
Am I ready to stand by his side? Am I ready to grab a whip also? And in those things in my life that I'd like to get rid of, that are not making me happy at all, that are only occupying my mind, causing obsession, distracting me from the ones I love, am I ready to ask Jesus to come on in with his whip and drive that stuff out? I hope so. Thank you so much and have a wonderful rest of your Lent.